हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माइंड योर मैथ एथ क्लास मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज योर्स कोना किरण रेड्डी टुडे लेट अस डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम 1 टू 4 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 8.2 दैट इज चैप्टर 8 कंपेयरिंग क्वांटिटीज लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ए मैन गॉट अ 10% इंक्रीज इन हिज सैलरी इफ हिज न्यू सैलरी इज 154000 फाइंड हिज ओरिजिनल सैलरी here a man got how much 10% increase in his salary 10% increase means if his old salary is 100 rupees then 10 rupees will be increased that means new salary will be 110 rupees here we are given new salary equal to 154000 rupees then what is his original salary let us take the original salary equal to x so let the original salary equal to that is equal to rupees x then he got 10 percent increase increase or this is called as hike this is equal to how much 10 percent 10 percent of what 10 percent of original salary or old salary so therefore new salary will be equal to old salary or original salary original salary plus increase or this is also called as hike so that is equal to original salary is rupees x plus increase is 10 percent 10 percent of what of the original salary x so this is equal to rupees x plus this can be written as 10 by 100 times x here 0 and 0 gets cancelled this is equal to rupees x plus 1 by 10 x or we can say x by 10 rupees so this is equal to 10 into x 10 x plus x that will be 11 x so rupees 11 x by 10 this is equal to how much? 1,54,000 rupees according to the problem. According to the data, this 11x by 10 rupees equal to 1,54,000 rupees. So from this we need to find out the value of x. So from this x equal to we can say 11 by 10 we have at left side. If we send this 11 by 10 to right side, we need to take the reciprocal of 11 by 10, that will be 10 by 11. So 10 by 11 times 1,54,000. We can cancel actually 11 times 1. This is 11 times 1 is 11. Then we have 4. 4 beside 4 means 44. 11 times 4 is 44. Then 0, 0, 0. So this is equal to 10 times 14,000. That will be 1,40,000 rupees. So this will be his original salary. So therefore, we can write original salary. Original salary equal to how much? Rupees 1,40,000 rupees. Right, this is the final answer. The shortcut method for this one is, here you see the shortcut. He got a 10% increase in his salary. Suppose his original salary is 100 rupees. Then 10% increase means just plus 10. So that will be 110. This is the new salary. That means if his new salary is 110 rupees, then old salary will be how much? 100 rupees. Then if new salary is 1,54,000, then what will be his? old salary or original salary that will be 100 divided by 110 times 1,54,000. If we calculate this one, we will get 1,40,000 rupees. This is the shortcut method. Now let us go to the second problem. On Sunday, 845 people went to Jew. On Monday, only 169 people went. Can you figure out why the amount is very much decreased? Why? Because Sunday is holiday. So, huge amount of people went to the Jew. 
But on Monday, as it is working day, only 169 people went to the zoo. Right? Okay. What is the percent decrease in the people visiting the zoo on Monday? So here, from Sunday to Monday, the amount of people or the number of people went to the zoo is decreased from 845 to 169. Let us write these things. Number of people went to the zoo on Sunday equal to on Sunday that is equal to 845. Now number of people went to the zoo on Monday equal to that is equal to how much? 169. Therefore difference equal to so difference equal to 845 minus 169. Let us subtract 845 and this is 169. Subtract 15 minus 9 that is 6. 3 will be there. 3 minus 6 so won't go. Take borrow. So that means 13 minus 6 that is 7. Here 7 will be there. 7 minus 1 that is 6. So 676. This is the decrease or difference of the number of people from Sunday to Monday. Now therefore so instead of difference we can write decrease also decrease like this also we can write. Now therefore percent of decrease or percent decrease percent decrease equal to this is equal to decrease divided by decrease or difference we can say divided by old number or original number or number of people on Sunday. We can say initial number also this one. Initial number into 100. This is what we say percent decrease. That is equal to decrease is how much? 676 divided by initial number that is 845. Initial number means starting number. That is number of people went to Jew on Sunday. Now times 100. Now we need to calculate this one. Let us cancel with 5 first. 5 times 1 is 5. 3 will be there. 34. 5 times 6 is 30. Then 45 will be there. 5 times 9 is 45. We can cross out. This is 5 times 2 and 5 times 0. Now 169 is divisible by only 13. So let us check whether 676 is divisible by 13 or not. 13 times 5 is 65. 2 will be there. 26. 13 times 2. Okay, so it will be cancelled. So this is 13 times 1 and 13 times 3. Now again 13 times 1 and this is 13 times 4. So this is equal to 4 into 20 that is 80%. So 80% of people were decreased from Sunday to Monday. So this is the final answer. Let us go to the third problem. A shopkeeper buys 80 articles for rupees 2400 and sells them for a profit of 16%. Find the selling price of one article. Here it is given that shopkeeper buys 80 articles for rupees 2400. We can write like this. Cost price of 80 articles equal to rupees 2000. 400. Now from this we can find out cost price of one article equal to we need to divide by 80. So rupees 2400 divided by 80. We can cross out. So 0 and 0 gets cancelled. 8 times 1 and this is 8 times 3 is 24. Beside that we have 0 put 1 0. So this is equal to rupees 30. So, cost price of one article equal to 30 rupees. Now, he sells them for a profit of 16%. So, profit percent equal to profit percent equal to that is how much? 16%. Therefore, profit equal to profit equal to 16% on 30 rupees. Be sure this profit is profit on one article. 
so you can write profit on one article that is equal to 16 percent on 30 rupees 30 rupees is the cost price of one article so we can write this is equal to 16 divided by 100 times 30 so 0 0 gets cancel then we can write this is equal to 16 times 3 is 48 divided by 10 that means that will be equal to 4.8 this is the 4.8 rupees actually this is the profit on one article so therefore selling price sp of one article equal to that is equal to cost price plus profit that is equal to cost price is how much rupees 30 plus profit is rupees 4.8 so that will be equal to rupees 34.8 so this is the final answer let us go to the next problem the cost price of an article was rupees 15500 rupees 450 were spent on its repairs if it is sold for a profit of 15% find the selling price of the article so here cost of an article was so let us write cost of an article equal to rupees 15500 now he spent 450 rupees on its repairs so repairs repairs charge equal to how much rupees 450 to find out the cost price of article we need to include this 450 that is repairs charge in the cost of the article that is 15500 so we can write therefore cost price equal to rupees 15500 plus rupees 450 this is the cost price of the article if we add these two we will get how much 15500 plus 450 this will be 05951 so that will be equal to rupees 15950 this is the cost price of the article now profit equal to how much profit equal to 15% 15% on what on the cost price so on 15950 so that will be equal to 15% means 15 by 100 into 15950 now this is equal to 0 and 0 gets cancel and 5 times 2 and this is 5 times 3 now this is equal to 3 times 1595 divided by 2 so this is equal to 1595 times 3 this is equal to 3 times 5 equal to 15 3 times 9 is 27 plus 1 28 3 times 5 is 15 plus 2 17 three times 1 is 3 plus 1 that is 4 4785 divided by 2 that will be equal to we can cross out actually so 2 times 2 then 2 times 3 is 6 1 will be there 18 2 times 9 is 18 then 5 is there 2 times 2 is 4 if you put the point 10 will be there 2 times 5 is 10 so this is the profit so therefore selling price equal to cost price plus profit that is equal to cost price is rupees 15950 plus profit is rupees 2392.5 we need to add these two this is equal to 15950 plus 2392.5 if we add these two we will get this is 5 this is 2 9 plus 5 is 14 this is 10 plus 3 13 and this is 8 and this is 1 this is equal to rupees 18342.5 this is the final answer that is the selling price of the article right with this the problems from 1 to 4 of exercise 8.2 are completed in my next video i will try to do the next problems if you like my explanations please subscribe my channel this is your skona kiran reddy